Hi, this is Shaw with LoveToCode.com. Welcome back to another tutorial on Java JDBC. In this video, we're going to learn how to read database connection info from properties files. If you've been following along with the video series so far, you know that currently the application has the connection information hard coded. That's the user ID, password, and database URL. I did it this way because it's really easy for beginners to understand. However, in the real world, you like to have this information in a separate configuration file. Java has a class called JavaUtil.Properties. It's used to read and write configuration information. So you basically have a properties file that has a collection of name value pairs. So in this example, I have demo.properties and I have a name DB URL value of JDBC colon, so on. Same thing for user ID and password, standard configuration file. You can use Java to read this properties file. So in the code here, we create a new properties object then we load the properties with information from a file, demo.properties. Once this properties file is loaded, then we can read properties. So I can say props.getProperty, and I give that actual property name. So in this case, it's dburl. On the next line, we do a similar thing for user ID, and then finally for password. Now that I have these as variables, then I can use this to actually get a connection to the database with the driver manager get connection. Okay, so let's move over to Eclipse and let's see this in action. So I have this very simple program called Connection Demo. And in the main method, what we'll do is we'll actually go through and we'll actually load the properties file. So we'll create a new properties object and then we'll say props.load and then we'll say file input stream based on demo.properties. So this demo.properties is just a little text file or properties file that I have and we have the user ID, password, and the database URL. And so our application is going to actually read this file and load it into the properties object. Now let's say, for example, the file was located somewhere else in your file system, like the D drive, then you simply give the absolute path to where that file is located, and you can read it um, in that fashion. So I'll leave that commented code in there for you. Now once the properties is loaded, then we can start reading some of the properties data. So first I'll read the user, then the password, then the database URL, and I'll assign those as string variables. And then I'll just print this information out uh, to the console, everything except for the password because of security, right? But then I'll use these parameters or these variables here, and I'll use that to get a connection to the database. And if everything is successful, then we'll print out connection successful. All right, so let's go ahead and run the program. We'll see the output here, connecting, it shows you the database URL and the user ID. And everything is successful, we get the connection, and then we just print out the employees from the database. And that's it. Well, that wraps up our discussion on reading database connection information from a properties file. Please subscribe to our channel to view more videos on Java. Click the thumbs up to like our video. Also, visit our website, lovetocode.com, to download the Java source code used in this video.